coverage here with Eileen Herrera right near the U.S.-Mexico border and also Harrison Parker in downtown El Paso. So we want to start tonight with KFOX 14 News at 9's Eileen Herrera, live as we mentioned along the border, where she spoke with the Border Patrol about today's confrontation. Eileen? Liz Robert, I'm here along the border highway right in front of Riverside Middle School, where earlier today I spoke with the officials and they tell me it was around 600 migrants who tried to force their way into the country. Officials say they have since taken migrants into custody and transported them to the Central Processing Center. Although these migrants turn themselves in, officials say that doesn't mean they'll be allowed to stay in the country. Any entry made in between a port of entry is an illegal entry. We can charge an individual, uh, we can place criminal charges if we'd like or process them administratively. Customs and Border Protection releasing the following statement. As of 3 p.m., all migrants from this group have been moved from the site. Additional personnel has been deployed to the scene and the situation is under control. The U.S. Border Patrol continues to monitor the situation and has increased patrols in the area. Officials reminding migrants to claim asylum at the port of entry. It's still in between a port of entry and it is still illegal. So we do want to stress that, that if they want to claim asylum to do so at an official port of entry. Migrants who turn themselves in today and do not qualify for asylum will be sent back to their country of origin. Officials tell me they mostly encountered Venezuelans tonight. Again, Amelina Herrera, live at the U.S.-Mexico border, KFOX 14, News at 9.